Hi students, thank you for watching my previous video. I have seen many of you have mentioned your doubts in, your, in the comment section about the previous video. I am very much grateful for all those. And today, in this today's video, we are going to resume with the, your doubts, with your doubts in the, from the previous video. Many of you have asked out that you have doubt in question number 4, 13.1, question number 4. So let us start with that. Paint in a certain container is sufficient to paint an area equal to 9.375. That is the area of the paint is given. So area of paint is 9.375 meter square. This is the area of the paint given. Now, let us see. How many bricks of dimension 22.5 cm into 10 cm into 7.5 cm can be painted out of this container? The dimension of bricks, dimension of bricks it is given, length is 22.5 cm, breadth it is 7.10 cm, sorry, 10 cm, and the height is 7.5 cm. These are the dimensions given for the bricks. Now, we are asked that with this much of paint, how many bricks can be painted? How many bricks can be painted? So, we are asked here to find out number of bricks. And as we know that the bricks, all the six side is there. So, whenever we are asked to find out number of anything, number of anything, that here number of bricks, so, we are going to use from here. So, that's why area of paint divided by area of each brick. Area of the paint it is given 9.375 meter square by area of the each brick. And I told you that the bricks has all the six sides. So, six side formula which I have given you in the previous video that is 2 into length grade plus grade height plus length height. 9.375 meter square divided by 2 into length grade. Length it is 22.5 centimeter, 22.5 centimeter into grade it is 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter plus again grade into height, grade it is 10 centimeter into height it is 7.5 cm plus length it is 22.5 cm into height it is 7.5 cm 9.375 m square divided by 2 into 22.5 into 10, it is 225 centimeter into centimeter, centimeter square. 10 into 7.5 is 75 centimeter square. Plus 22.5 into 7.5, if you multiply, you are going to get 168.75 meter square. So 9.375 meter square divided by 2 into 225 plus 75, it is 300, 300 plus 168, it is 468, 468.75 centimeter square. Now, let us withdraw the decimal, let us withdraw the decimal, 9, 3, 7, 5, by 2 into 4, 6, 8, 7, 5. For the numerator decimal in the denominator 1, after decimal 3 digit, so 3, 0. For the denominator decimal in the numerator 1, after decimal 2 digit, 2, 0. Now, this is centimeter square, this is meter square. We will have to convert the meter square to centimeter square to make the unit same. So, meter Converting to centimeter 1 time 100, it is square. So 2 time 100, 100, again 1 more 100. Then it becomes centimeter square. Centimeter square, centimeter square cancel. 2, 0, 2, 0 cancel. 1, 0, 1, 0 cancel. 2, 5, ja, 10. 5, 9, ja, 45. 
centimeter into 12.5 plus 10, it will be 22.5 centimeter. If you multiply, let us multiply and see how much we get. 22.5 into 16, 6 by 30, 360 by 80, and into 21. 6 by 30, 360 by 12, 30, 40, 50, 10, 1, 60 by 12 plus 130, 1 by 5, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 0, 0, 6, 3. That's the number of one digit, 360. So 360 centimeter into centimeter, centimeter square. This is the lateral surface area of the cuboidal box. Number two, uh, sorry. And then again the lateral surface area of the cube also we have to find out. Lateral surface area of cube. Lateral surface area of the cube is four sides. So four sides square. Four side it is 10 centimeter is given. So 10 centimeter square is there. 4 into 10 square is 100 centimeter square. 4 into 100 it is 400 centimeter square. Now our question is, which box has the greater lateral surface area? Greater. Which one is greater? As you can see, the lateral surface area of cubical box. Cubical box is greater. So you will write down lateral surface area of cubical box is greater if it was the portion that which is smaller than we were supposed to write cuboidal box but it is greater so we are writing cubical box is greater by we are asking by how much also and by how much whenever and by how much the time we are going to subtract greater minus smaller greater minus smaller so greater it is 400 centimeters square 400 centimeters square and the smaller is 360 centimeters square. 400 minus 360, it is 40 centimeters square. This is how we got for number one. In number two, they say the smaller total surface area. We are going to find out total. Total surface area means what? All the six sides. And for cuboidal box, six side formula, you, you know that is 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. And for the cubical box, the total surface area is six side, six side square, six S square. So with these two formula, you are going to find out the total surface area of the cuboidal box. That is 2 into length breadth plus breadth height plus length height. And the total surface area of the cubical box, that is 6 sides square. And then you will see which one is smaller. Then you will write down that one. That box is smaller by greater minus smaller. I hope you understood. Do number 2. And if any problem arises while solving up, you please mention it in the com comment section. Then to, in the next video, I will be coming out with question number 6, 7, and 8. Thank you that much for today. See you in the next video. Here Roy signing off.